these reports first started coming in in the Carolinas a, a few weeks ago, it's been hard not to chuckle about it. But when people start using this idea, this motif, to make uh, threats against schools and, and, and students, and that's when it's gone way too far. We spoke to a cyber uh, expert earlier today on our 5 o'clock show, and he recommended, hey, this is the moment where you have those all-important conversations with your kids about what they're doing online and how it really counts in the bigger picture. Yeah, good idea there. Uh, these incidents also creating problems for the people who actually work as clowns. Yeah, they're still out there. Many of them uh, who take their fun assignments seriously. Fox 61's Tony Tersey spoke with a veteran clown who says business is now down. Jesus, teach me to embrace the unavoidable suffering of life. For 10 years on Wednesdays, Diana Sheard has joined some lady friends to discuss the Bible. Well, we lost the moral compass. Another way she centers herself I have to dip again. as Valentine the Clown. I like to provide that distraction and uh, make them not think about the day. Joy is her job. Something to brag about. <laughs> Unlike those posing as creepy clowns attempting to terrorize towns on social media. I'm not saying anything against those people, they're, but they're not clowns. They're just spooky costume characters. But a phone call yesterday demonstrated the power of social media. I was going to do a job this coming Friday that someone canceled because they said they were worried for my safety. And who did they hire instead? A gorilla. With a name like Valentine, she, of course, wraps her heart around those scared of clowns. Most importantly, I engage with them. One such interaction this past Sunday at the Apple Harvest Parade here in Southington, where Valentine encountered a bald man. And he said, oh my gosh, don't, I'm creeped out by clowns. And I said, well, I happen to love bald men. And then he stood up, and we took a great picture together. A picture of fun, <laughs> not fright. In Southington, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News. Here's what the suspects look like.